Hey everyone, welcome back to part 13 of topic six in our database class. And in this video, I'm going to discuss several additional responsibilities that database administrators have. Let's get started. All right, so, so that takes us to our last couple of things that we will discuss here for topic number six. And the first of these last few topics that I would like to discuss are additional responsibilities that database administrators have on their shoulders. So we did talk about these three major responsibilities of handling concurrent processing, managing database security, and having mechanisms in place like backups and transaction log files in order to do backup and recovery on our database. But that's not all that database administrators do as far as administrative tasks. Well, it'll be a good idea just to briefly touch on some of these other things. One is that uh, administrators need to have some way of recording, gathering and recording information about errors that come up and other problems that users experience or that applications experience. Okay, so we need to uh, basically have a way of tracking and logging these things and prioritizing them so that uh, as a database administrator, we can work on correcting them. Right? If users are getting errors for some reason, maybe there's something we can do, right? By tuning the database appropriately, we may be able to help them out. All right. Um, we need to have as database administrators, a mechanism in place for allowing us to track and manage the evolution of the database over time. Okay, so organizational needs over long periods of time change. And as such, we must expect that the database that we have in place to support those organizational needs will necessarily change as well. So as such, uh, database administrators need to document the way that things are today, and we need to also document the changes that we make. So maybe the company is developing a new mobile app, right? And we need to make some changes to the database in order to support that, right? Or maybe we need to store a different type of data in a table. So we just need to document these changes and why they were made, how they were made, so that others in the future can identify these things and understand how the database got to be in the state that it is today. Okay. So these are all important responsibilities that database administrators have. And in addition to documenting database structure and change over time, other choices that have been made with respect to concurrency control, for example, what locking strategies do we use? What transaction isolation levels do we use? Right, that so we should document those and why we made the choices that we did. Same thing with our security mechanisms and structure. So we want to document things like role, membership, permissions, etc. Um, and again, the, the the most important thing here is is the why, understanding why decisions were made, so that we can look back over time, if necessary, and understand how we got to where we are today. Documenting backup and recovery processes and having step-by-step -step instructions in place that uh, will specify exactly what to do if something goes wrong. And uh, also the various applications that are relying on the database. These could be desktop apps, mobile apps, data-driven websites, etc. The point is that we need to know all of the applications that are using our database, how they are accessing it, like what user accounts and so forth are associated with that, their permissions and the types of queries and accesses that are made by each of those applications. Okay, so it's much more, it's much more to the job of being a database administrator than simply designing and implementing databases. And we also have to deal with concurrency control, security, backup and recovery, and all these other tasks as well. But the general idea is it's a, a career path in which the database administrator seeks to support the organization's data needs as effectively and as efficiently as possible.